Nicole from SheIsMore.com and today I'm going to talk to you about purpose because we are all here in the earth wondering what our purpose is and we want to live it out. Well, the first thing that we need to know is we were created on purpose, not only for a purpose, but, but for his purpose. We were created to partner with God to do what he is doing, to use our gifts and talents in doing that. And sometimes actually he will even use our weaknesses. And so it's really important for us to listen to what God is calling us to and then to say yes because it's when we say yes, then he equips us for the call. If you look at Moses, he was not a great speaker or orator. He even argued with God about going to speak to Moses because he had a stuttering problem. And God got mad at him. He's like, who do you think I am that I would call you to something and then not equip you to do it? So if you're feeling called to something, but you are feeling unqualified or like you're not gifted in something, take heart because God is the qualifier. All he needs is for you to say yes and then he will do the rest. He's looking for someone who is available and that is a concept that even I struggle with sometimes because naturally we want to do things um, in which we are gifted and where we have talents and even that's what the world tells us It asks us when we're looking for a purpose to ask ourselves uh, What are we gifted in? What are our talents and then combine that with what we have a heart for? But sometimes God wants to use our weaknesses because he likes to show off and he even says in the word that he is made strong and his power is made perfect in our weakness so it actually makes it a little bit more exciting because the possibilities really are limitless. The second thing regarding purpose is our ultimate purpose is to love God and to love people. And the way that that manifests is in a lot of different ways for all of us. And it can look different in different seasons of our life. So as long as we are loving God and loving people, then we are fulfilling our purpose. So if you're feeling confused right now or conflicted, like, I don't know, you know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm here for. Start with loving God and loving people because in that you can't go wrong. And that is ultimately what we are called to do. And the third thing regarding purpose is in order to fulfill our destiny, the number one important thing is that we cannot give up. It says in the word that we need faith and endurance when we are running the race toward the crown and toward the prize uh, that God has set out for us. So it takes endurance. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about endurance. And I was really lucky because just the other day at church, Christine Kane happened to be speaking and I absolutely love her. She is a powerhouse. And it was a message that I needed to hear because to be honest, I have even started feeling a little bit burnt out and I feel my motivation fizzling out a little bit. And I'm just wondering, hey God, what are you doing? Do you still want me to operate in the areas that I feel like you've called me because I'm not seeing much movement? And that is exactly when endurance needs to take place and when we need to call on endurance because the word endurance means to stay under something, not to run from something. And so it's when we're dealing with that stillness and when we're dealing with the inactivity and uh, the no's and the not yet's and the waiting that we need to dig our heels in, grit our teeth and stay steadfast and endure what's happening because it's always in the people who don't give up that succeed. And even Christine Kane said yesterday that people ask her all the time, you know, what is your formula for success? And she says, well, I haven't died and I haven't given up. It's not that deep. That really hit home for me because I just realized, okay, I, I need to keep trekking even though I'm not necessarily seeing movement uh, right away or quickly because you know we all want something to happen quickly and we think that maybe we deserve that or we can get it because God is God and he can breathe on something and give us breakthrough and really quick acceleration which he can but that's not usually the case and the reason why is because God cares way more about our transformation in the process of, th of something than he does about our ultimate goal or trophy or title or accolade because the thing is with God, he doesn't need us 
to reach that goal or the title or get the trophy in order for his glory to be validated. He he's good on his own, um, and I and that's not my own thought. That also comes from Christine Kane, but he cares way more about us being transformed into the image of Jesus. And so a lot of times we just get so focused on the end goal that we'll do whatever it takes to get there. Um, we'll even risk losing our holiness or talking in a bad way or treating people uh, like they're not people in order to get to the top. And then once we're there, we're like, hey, we're there. It doesn't matter how I got here, but I'm here. But it does matter. It matters that we don't compromise compromise our righteousness and that we don't compromise our holiness or compromise the way that we speak or the way that we treat people. Um, it all matters because the entire process leading up to our destiny or end goal or purpose is what really matters in the sight of Jesus. In your journey, in purpose right now, and the questions you might be having, I hope that this really helps you to just know that you are made for his purpose to partner with God and what he's doing. And if you don't know what that is yet, just start loving God and loving people and he will show you. Know that he will qualify you if you just say yes, even when he's calling you to use your weaknesses because that's when his power is made evident and strong. Lastly, keep the endurance because it's endurance that produces character and hope and ultimately is what transforms you into the image of Christ, which is the ultimate goal. I can't think of anything more liberating or powerful than that. So be encouraged. Don't give up. Stay under the hardship. Know the difference between inconvenience and persecution. Just because you're inconvenienced doesn't mean that you need to quit. Just because something is taking a long time doesn't mean that you need to quit. If you want to see your destiny come to pass, then stay the course and keep going. I hope that this blessed you today. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Kristen J. Dalton. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!